So how to create this kind of effects inside After Effects using only Autofill? This tutorial will assume that you already know how to use Autofill just a little bit. So we can make this tutorial short and concentrate only how to create this effect that looks like it's 3D, which is not. It's all was created in After Effects. So let's go. Um, yeah. Okay, let's go. So we need to use after auto fill uh, one on one presets uh, because it's better way to use auto fill because also inside these presets you can find useful tools that we will use here because if you bought auto fill you already have auto fill presets so I already. <coughs> using some text that were in this example and I created some animation and the next thing that we need to do we're going to put edit auto fill in the new composition and we are going to grab our wrinkle paper from the asset we're going to apply a little bit of levels so we will so our paper will be brighter and a little bit of gamma so we can see details of the paper. And okay, that's obviously simple and we already having this interestingly looking animation. What we need now? We need, uh, to, we need to go to the project tools and we need to use tool called gradient which is basically a gradient and with everything you can see here uh, it's just creating a gradient and uh, that's it from black from whiteness to darkness and the next step what we need we're going to apply ex extract effect as you remember extract effect uh, delete everything it's like uh, keying and keying out uh, darkness or whiteness so in this case we're going to delete dark parts to the size of one drop and we'll make this cut a little bit softer and we're going to apply fill just to see how it looks and uh, maybe for the droplet size it's a little bit big so let's make it something like that right right it's like an ink which is cool then we're going to make it black and here's the main magic happens we're going to apply bevel effect and tada you already could see that it kind of 3d it's already looks uh, li like something from 3d world kind of of course but that's the most important part by using bevel multiple time when you stuck one bevel one on top of another using screen uh, blending mode you can create complex reflections that will look like real tree and i will go in i'm going to demonstrate how it works so let's make it yellow so we will not lose it and let's go to the bevel and emboss and let's make it darker or uh, brighter and let's make uh, our uh, shadow mode to screen and look at that we already having something like water or mercury but because they're short and because they have this 3d effect we already having interesting result look at that pretty cool right but we're working on ink so our first layer of the reflections will be uh let's uh, make our secondary light so you literally could think about it as this is um 3d space and you adjusting lights uh 
all over the place. So this will be, okay, let's make it bigger a little bit, right? And let's make our secondary light not so bright, just like rim light. And our first light should also be not so bright. So it's a first level of our drop. Then what could you do? You can just duplicate this gradient, apply it with the screen. Obviously, it becomes brighter. And then we're going to create more light in this room. Uh, by moving angle. And uh, let's make it not size. Let's reduce size. Let's make it more depth let add a more depth and change altitude a little bit something like that right and uh, let's turn on our secondary light so this reflection will be only about one light that will be mm, from this side yeah and maybe not so big so the main point is to make it different so it will be another level of reflection maybe we can add a little bit softness um, we should change a little bit altitude a little bit and let's have a look we already can see that our reflection become richer more rich more complex okay another word more complex and maybe from this way yeah and maybe we can increase depth and maybe we can make it not so big yes and look at that we already having something that we had <laughs> at the beginning no we don't need that we need to make it more interesting, right? So let's add this reflection. Okay. And the third layer could be our just a highlight. Let's again make it bigger. Yes. And let's make it brighter. So this white spot will be our brightness spot. So like any... Uh, like any ink or any I don't like this uh, how would say this steps so let's make it a little bit bigger and maybe increase softness also yes just like that and now you already could see that maybe our first layer is too big so what can we do we can make it not so big yeah something like that you see that's how it works um, maybe we can increase a little bit and make it from this part so a little bit, a lot of small details give you that uh, 3D look. But uh, we want our wet ink to be darker. And then after that, we can see our text. Sh what should we do? We should apply turbulent noise on our text. Great. Um, no, maybe let's make it smaller like that let's make it darker and let's apply it on our paper using classic color burn S but not so extreme just like that just like that right maybe decrease contrast and make it darker and but still not enough darkness our under our droplets so we can copy our gradient make let's make it with another color so we won't lose it and uh, 
trail ink trail after droplet should be longer than than our droplet so we can just increase uh increase the level increase the um, duration of our tail like that and let's have a look what we will ha have yes and we can turn off gradient from here and yes so firstly our droplets of ink then some blackness of not uh, some blackness of wet ink right oh look at that place It really because uh, the <laughs> the only secret is that uh, you don't have to be photorealistic but if you are having a lot of reflections going on our brain imagine 3d space outside this droplet and that's why it feels like our droplets inside somewhere like they're real like, like they're 3d look at this place really loves it and uh, maybe what we need we need more wet paint inside this blackness what could we do we can just copy our wet paint and uh, no our wet paint and apply a little bit of bevel again yes and we can apply turbulent displays with a small size like that okay like that and we can make this uh, also to look interesting we can play with bevel so basically there is no formula to make uh, this bevel looks good every time you have to tweak angle altitude soft and size uh, let's make it like that and uh, let's change altitude to this and um, okay maybe too much so yes yes something like this that's pretty cool that wet paint also will disappear and because it's under everything we have long trails that will eventually okay that's maybe a little bit too long should it be something like that do we need it yes it's a little bit but it adding its detail and makes this ink like really pop one last thing that we need is shadows so we need to grab our last gradient this last gradient our last uh, droplet with a uh, normal fill uh, blending mode we're going to apply drop shadow and let's imagine we have a light just from above and uh, let's edit angle a little bit like 90 degrees which is great and let's make it darker and uh, maybe let's increase not spread not size but spread a little bit so it will be darker like 11 5 yeah so look at that with and without with and now it really starts to popping out of the screen so it's like something 3d and let's have a look at this animation look at that oh 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 this moment that's it yes that's how to create kind of photorealistic droplets inside after effect and using autofill of course you can experiment you can create blood droplets you can create even something silver or maybe just water droplets and uh, i hope you enjoy this tutorial and see you next time in the next tutorials about 
everything that you will ask me to do because this tutorial were creating uh, were created were inspired by the comments from instagram where people said that it's impossible <laughs> to make this without any other some kind of 3d plugins no it is possible and now you know how to create those kind of effect and if you will have any questions write in in the comment section and i will create tutorial on things that you interest in the most so thank you for watching